After the Choctaw finally arrived in their destination, many things were different. They faced new challenges and adaptations which they had to get used to in order to thrive again. This included the land, tribes they interacted with, their economy, and the new government they would create. The geography and climate of this new land differ from the tribe's ancestral land. The land they were removed to was not as good as the original land. It was not as fertile. There was less water and timber, and games was not as plentiful. Nonetheless, the Choctaw made the best of what they had and were soon successfully farming their new land, making it turn into a profit. The challenges were to be able to accustom themselves to this new land and geography and to learn a way to prosper with what they were given. There were already Native American tribes living in this area. Before them, there was a tribe called the Caddos. They mostly lived in the regions where the Choctaw were resettled, and when they were displaced to the south or to the western region, some of the Caddos decided to join the Choctaws. They interacted with the Choctaws with displacement. That's how they interacted with the resettled tribe. After getting established in this new land, it appeared that as of the last half of the 18th century, the Choctaw were among the most accomplished farmers in the Lower Midwest. This was a result from the intensification of the basic Lower Midwest pattern of corn, beans, and squash cultivation supplemented by hunting, fishing, and collecting that occurred after the Choctaw had arrived at the new land. During their adaptation to the new land, the trade in deer skin resulted in an expansion of hunting and guns and was a great boost to trading relationships for the Choctaw as well. So they did develop a really good economy. The type of rights of self-governance that this tribe was granted by the U.S. government was that the BIA said it would offer special initiatives to any Choctaw willing to walk to the new land. Each Indian who decided to walk would be paid $10 in gold, given a new rifle and three months supply of powder and ammunition, be fed along the way and be furnished with a qualified guide to lead them to the new land. Approximately 300 of the Choctaw decided that the BIA plan was the way to go. Also, the Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution authorizes Congress to regulate commerce with foreign nations among the several states and with the Indian tribes.